Oh, well, hey there. Welcome. Today, I'm going to be trying something a little bit different. I consider myself to be a bit of an artist. I like to draw lovely little designs and leave them all over the city and all over the bombs I place everywhere. Just never know when you might run into one, but you'll always know it was mine. I painted all this here. Do you like? But apparently there's some guy who wants to teach me how to draw happy little trees and teach me how to draw pretty little landscapes. So we're gonna give him a go and see what this guy's all about. Now, I don't have any fancy smance canvases or anything like that, so uh, we're sticking with this sturdy old piece of cardboard. I've got a hodgepodge mix of paints here and uh, some brushes that are all slightly glued together. So let's give it a go. Welcome back. I'm glad to see you again. I've never met you before. And I'm gonna show you a super way today to make up little scenes in your mind and it teaches you fantastic things. So let's get started. Oh, Bob, I already have several fantastic little things running through my mind. I don't need any help in that department. So we need white. Zip. And then the next one is blue. Now, beat the paint into the bristles to assure a nice even distribution of paint. Beat the paint into the bristles. Beating it. Beating it so hard. And let's go right up here and very quickly, very quickly just drop in a, a happy little sky using a little crisscross stroke. A happy little sky. All right then. He said very, very quickly. We're moving very, very quickly. Oh, it's so happy. This man moves too quickly. I'm too busy crisscrossing my sky. And he's talking about what type of shades of brown I need. Do the color. I'll start with some Van Dyke brown. And we'll go right into some, this is some burnt umber. Let's go, let's go right over here and get some alizarin crimson. We are mixing three different shades of brown together. I don't even think I have one. I have some burnt sienna. Huh? It's uh, been sitting in there a while. Is too thick to even squeeze out the... Uh, I don't think that one's gonna work. Uh, we're gonna use black instead of brown because it can't be that different, right? And say, there, just start pushing, pushing out. Make all these little shapes. Don't worry about them right now. I don't need to worry about it right now. So we're just gonna go in there and start pushing little shapes. My brush is nothing like the one that he is using. My colors are nothing like the ones he is using. But I've got spirit, okay? Okay, maybe there's a little tree. There he is, there's right there. Oh, there's a big one. I've, um, confession, I've never actually seen a tree before. Um, I didn't think they looked like that though. But they had like leaves and stuff. This is just splodges of brown. All right. See, let, let's draw ourselves a tree here. Ready? Tree. Do you like my tree? So you just let these things flow, flow right out of your imagination. This is your world, so don't worry about it. You can build anything in here that you want. Ah, oh, my imagination. Can I really just let things flow out of my imagination? How fun! So we've got a monkey bomb over here. Imagination! Okay, have I got red? Yes. So I'm gonna mix some colors. I'm gonna mix red and yellow to represent an explosion. Oh, by the way, I also don't have any water, so I can't like clean off my brush in between. So we're just gonna let all those happy little colors mix in together. Now, I'm gonna go right into a little bit of Prussian blue. Very strong, very dark. Ooh, we need dark blue. What are we doing with the dark blue? A little, a little stream? Um, I've got room for a little stream. We'll, we'll put it in here. Okay, let me um break down uh, my current progress. So here we have the sky that was following along with Mr. Mr. Bob Ross. 
this is a beginning of a tree. This is a tree and then I added some green leaves and grass in there. Um, that's a monkey bomb and that's the explosion from the monkey bomb. I think it looks great so far. <laughs> You can just add all the colors that you want. What? When did that happen? He's got a whole landscape going on. There's a river, there's, there's dimension, there's trees coming along. I turned away for one minute. Um, okay, um, speed run, speed run catch up. Um, oh, I don't have green. Um, uh, tree, 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 tree. Am I caught back up now? Oh, he's got like white lines along the tree trunks and stuff for, for dimension. Uh, let me, let me clean off some of this, uh, some of this green black here. Also, since when were we supposed to bring a knife? I have knives, but I don't think they're the type that he's got. I've got a really thin brush. So that could be like a knife type of shape. Oh, so we're like mapping it out now. Okay, I can do that. So my land is here. Does that add dimension? Oh, pull it, pull it down. Okay. Ah, blending. Look at me go. Now we're kind of working on some grass dimension. I've already got a lot of grass dimension, I think. He keeps talking about having lots of colors on your brush. Um, I think maybe I'm starting to get too many colors on my brush. Does grass normally have red in it? Maybe there's a little bit of movement in this little stream. This is an old slow stream. And you can do this with a knife just to give the indication of a few little ripples here and there. Okay, now he's adding like white to the water for dimension, so. Um, I, I guess I need to blend that in more, maybe. Oh, I feel like I've ruined it. I'm sorry, Bob. Are my trees not already big and strong? I've already got big and strong trees. And then you kept touching up your stream, so I kept touching up mine, and now it just looks like a hot mess. And the more I go over it, the worse it's gonna look. Now I've just ruined it. All right, fine. Let, let's make some big, strong trees that can go right next to the explosion. How does his look like that? And mine looks like this. I'm not talking about the explosion in the middle. Like I, I put that there, but like, I've never seen nature, but maybe this isn't what it looks like. You know what? Maybe, maybe I should just be sticking to what I know. Who says I have to follow the conventional standards of Bob Ross's standards of pretty little landscapes, big strong trees and happy little skies, when instead we could create what makes me happy. You know what? Let's just do it. Fluorescent paint. Alrighty, so I'm gonna need you to be perfectly honest with me. Which half of the can canvas or the cardboard looks better? This falling along with Mr. Sir Bob or my own artistic flair? Hmm? Like mine has shine. It has color. This has too many colors. I think when you put it all together, it really says something. It has a lot of meaning to it. This is the conventional. This is topside, essentially. We have all the nature trying to obscure all this um, violence going on here. 
but ultimately all the colors are just murky and no one really stands out. Everyone just blends into this boring blend of nothing and just darkness. And then we have the Undercity. Everything's clear, it's all a little bit chaotic, but there's identity there, there's clarity, there's meaning. So honestly, I think as a whole, this is a very symbolic, beautiful art piece, and I will be selling it for the cheap price of $120,000. I am quite pleased with myself. I really learned something here today, and that is I should just keep being myself. Thank you for that lesson today, Bob. All right, gang. Well, thank you for joining me here today on this uh, meaningful adventure and messy adventure. I hope you could also learn something from this. If you did have a good time watching me, then you should definitely give the video a like and definitely hit that subscribe button. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. A thousand subscribers. You could be one of the people that help us reach that goal. Liking the video also tells me that you want to see more Jinx on here. So thank you very much for your support and I'll be seeing you later. Bye. On behalf of all of us here, we'd like to wish you happy painting. God bless. See you next week.